We are so close to starting our search, I promise. We just need to talk about one more thing, the levels of evidence, a very important concept in evidence-based practice. In EBP, it's all about the levels. You may have seen a triangle or diagram similar to this one. I think it's a useful way to view the quality of information you'll find when doing research. Most of what you find in a source like PubMed or CINAHL is considered to be unfiltered. That means it's made up of individual research studies that have not been evaluated according to evidence-based measures. The filtered information is at the top. There's less of it, and it's higher quality. This is not to say that unfiltered information has no value. It's just the higher you get, the more confidence you can put in the results and the applicability to your patients. We're going to come back to this triangle when I show you the best library resources for filtered and unfiltered information. Here's another way to look at it, broken down by the kind of research. Meta-analysis is up at the top and animal studies are at the bottom. Again, this is about providing the best evidence upon which to make a decision. Laboratory studies are definitely important, but you're not going to change your practice based on just this type of research. The professor who taught this course before broke down the information into strong, moderate, and limited. It's just another way to help you figure out what information is the best. This should start to look a little bit repetitive by now, right? Now, let's talk about what the ISU library has available in each of the big categories. Under Systematic Reviews, you can search the Cochrane Library. This is an absolutely wonderful source for systematic reviews. Some of these are also meta-analyses. Both PubMed and CINAHL have filters that allow you to limit to just meta-analyses or systematic reviews. Very handy. PubMed also has a great tool called Clinical Queries, which runs a bunch of evidence-based practice algorithms in the background. You don't even have to think about it. A critically appraised topic is where the literature on a particular disease, condition, treatment, or so on, is evaluated according to evidence-based criteria. These are sort of like systematic reviews, but not quite as rigorous. At the ISU library, you can use the Dynamed database. It's super easy to search, and it's all evidence-based. What's not to like? The National Guideline Clearinghouse is available to search for free. They have a ton of guidelines on all kinds of topics. And you can use filters within both PubMed and CINAHL to limit to just practice guidelines. Very easy. Under the top section of the evidence-based triangle are the unfiltered sources. Some of these can provide great evidence, but no independent group has appraised them according to evidence-based protocols. This section makes up the majority of health sciences research. Many people are surprised that textbooks get lumped in with expert opinion, down towards the bottom. Really, it depends on the textbooks. Many of the newer ones are following more rigorous EBP guidelines, but for the most part, textbooks are generally outdated by the time they get published, and there's a lot of information that is not based on evidence. We're a library, so of course we have books, but did you know that we have a lot of online books? All three of the sources listed here contain just online textbooks.